solve system of equations from context graphically. So first thing we want to do is read through the equation and kind of figure out what we're dealing with. So Piper and her children went into a movie theater. She bought $59.50 worth of bags of popcorn and candies. Each bag of popcorn costs $8.50 and each candy costs $4.25. She bought eight more candies than bags of popcorn. Graphically solve a system of equations in order to determine the number of bags of popcorn and the number of candies that Piper bought. Okay, so we're talking about, um, let's see here, we're talking about popcorn and candy. And we know that altogether she spent $59.50, which is a lot of money on snacks, but okay. Um, and we also know that, hey, each bag of popcorn is $8.50 and each candy is $4.25. So we know that in, if we're looking for our total cost, uh, we can multiply that out, right? So um, $8.50 times the number of popcorns plus $4.25 times the number of candies will give us the total amount that she spent. All right, so now we have to figure out that was the easier equation to come up with. Now we have to figure out what is the second equation that we can um, derive from this context. Well, if you keep reading, it says she bought eight more candies than bags of popcorn. Okay, so she bought eight more candies so than bags of popcorn. So popcorn plus eight gives us the total number of candies. All right, so the cool thing here is that um, now we have our system of equations, and you could, at this point, um, you could just type it right into Desmos, graph it, see what it looks like, um, but unfortunately in Delta Math, you don't have that option. So let's see here. Uh, the C equals P plus eight. Well, we wanna figure out what axis is what, and then probably put both of our equations in y equals mx plus b form. So it looks like number of bags of popcorn is x. So the popcorn is our x-axis, and the candies are the y-axis. Okay, so if I wanted to rewrite this just so that I didn't get confused, right, my candies are my y-axis, and my popcorn is my x-axis, right? I could do the same thing up here. I have 850x plus 425y equals 5950. Okay. Um, well, so the second equation is already in y equals format, which is awesome. So the first equation, we may just want to solve it to put it into y, solve for y, to put it into y equals mx plus b form. All right, so I'm gonna do that by subtracting my 850x from both sides, So I'm trying to get y by itself. And I remember I used SADMAP to help me know what to get rid of first. I'm going to subtract 850x from both sides of my equal sign. I'm left with 425y equals negative 850x plus 5950. And I'm going to divide both sides of my equal sign by my 425. 425. All right, so y equals, let me see here. 850, let's see here, negative 850 divided by 425 gives me, oh, look at that, negative 2x, and 5950 divided by 425 gives me 14. Look how nice that worked out. All right, well, so now I've got both of my equations, oops. I wonder if I can undo that. I've got both of my equations in slope-intercept form, which we know is our favorite form to use, um, and it's the easiest to graph from, right? So I'm going to hop back over to Delta Math. I'm going to put 
a point on eight and I'm gonna use my rise over my run to plot some another point. Let's see here. So I'm gonna put a point on eight and I'm gonna go up one over one to plot the rest of that line. And same thing, I'm gonna put a point on 14 and I'm gonna do rise over run to plot additional points. I'm gonna put a point on 14 on my Y axis and my slope is down two over one. So I'm gonna go down one, two over one. And I see that, um, let's see here. Graphically solve the system of equations in order to determine the number of bags of popcorn and candies that she bought. So Piper bought two popcorns and 10 candies is what it looks like. So she bought two popcorns and 10 candies. Submit. Yes. Huzzah. Okay. Um, Delta Math is walking you through, right? Define the variable. Write your equations for your system. Solve to put into y equals mx plus b. And then graph. And look for where they intersect. And that is how you solve a system of equations from context.